a lot of students complain about being broke and not having enough money to buy what they need and sometimes this isn't because they don't earn or receive enough money but rather as a result of their poor attitude towards managing their finances what's up family my name is prime a student and youtuber i share my experiences being both on this channel please if you are new to this channel hit that subscribe button on today's video, I'll be giving you 5 tips to help you greatly improve how you manage your finances so as to get the full value of your money. The first tip is budget making. You have probably heard this a million and one times. A lot of people say it is in a lot of books. But this just goes to show you how important this is in managing your finances. For you to make a very good budget, there are two things involved. You have to know what your income is how much money you make or you receive at the end of a week or months as the case may be be a constant figure or fluctuate and you have to just find the average of calculate the average and know on a monthly basis what to expect and be able to try and adjust to it if it shifts the second is expenses you need to know what you spend on a weekly or monthly basis and for you to have an idea of this i'll suggest you take a week or a month and record every single thing you spend on for that week. You could either record it in a book, in a spreadsheet, or in an app. There are many apps online that help with this process, like a money manager. And at the end of that week or month, they will, they, there's an account of how much you spend during that period. This will help you plan on the amount you want to use on the various aspects of your daily life and cut off the unnecessary spending the next tip is bulk buying bulk buying is another way of cutting costs it's more like you going to the market or a wholesale store and getting all you need for like the week or the month in a large quantity and most likely at discounted price as opposed going to a nearby retail store and picking those items one at a time which is not really advisable so with bulk buying you tend to save more because you are buying more of what you need at a discounted price at a cheaper price the advantage of this is that when you buy those stores at bulk sizes at bulk larger quantity you have them most likely readily at home readily available instead of you always having to leave your house and you might actually spend transport for even leaving your house to get those items one at a time so you have it all together at your house or your apartment or wherever you have it there so you keep you stock up you know like stock up you buy instead of buying one biscuit i'm just using the biscuit as an example instead of buying one biscuit you buy like the carton of the biscuit and you save a lot of cost the next tip is set a goal you have to try and set a reasonable saving goal like what amount of money you want to make after a certain period of time or what you want to buy with the money you saved and this is really important because it kind of helps you work towards achieving the set goal is now your saving now has a purpose why you are doing it, a reason behind it and this kind of helps you get like you get you build determination and work towards achieving it and for you to like set those goals i will advise you set something reasonable make your goals as reasonable as possible don't try and go and be like and you probably let's say you have an income of like ten thousand every week and then you, you say like, at the end of the year i want to save a million naira i don't know how that works how it plays in your head but try and make it as reasonable as possible as possible you take it one step at a time it's little by little it's a continuous process you kind of build the habits over time the next tip is something i like to call save to be productive when setting and this kind of relates to your saving goals when setting your saving goals it shouldn't always have to be about buying that new shoe that new bag that new jewelry all those fancy stuffs you shouldn't always be about them try and save to be productive like let's say for example you're a student if you're a student and you can like save to buy a book or whatever that will help you in your academics or studies or better still a phone or a laptop which can help you run your business better if you have any business or help you learn any skills like um, programming web design and all those stuff and like let's say for me now as a youtuber i'll be saving to like 
get it, the lights, the better, better equipments, cameras, and all those stuff. And the thing with increasing your productivity is you tend to attract more money and you most likely make more money. And with more money, you can save more. And if you save more, you can increase your productivity and the circle keeps on building and building like that. The next tip is invest your savings. And this doesn't necessarily mean you should go and acquire shares and stocks or things of that nature. There are other ways of investing. Like you could download the apps online where you could like leave your money and over time it accumulates interest for you. I won't really talk much about it in this video because I have a separate video where I give you my top five apps for investing your savings. I'll leave the link somewhere on the screen. <laughs> if you haven't watched it, please go and watch it. And the thing here is that this is way better than leaving your money in the bank which is which time most times collect charges most times the banks the banks these days are only a problem who is keep collecting charges the other day they are like picking it to like hundred hundred and a half and like what is the hundred and a half for uh, like card maintenance fee and i'm like confused card maintenance fee card i'm using the card some of their charges i just don't understand but you get my point with this you can just avoid all those charges and <sighs> that was a lot uh, and if you stuck with me to the very end, I really really appreciate. I hope this video is helpful. Please leave a like and so that you could help with this YouTube algorithm so that more people can see this. Comment down in the comment section, subscribe and turn on that post notification bell. Um, thank you for watching and I'll see you on the very next video.